When the song of the angels is stilled, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and the princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flock, the work of Christmas begins to find the lost, to heal the broken, to feed the hungry, to release the prisoner, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among brothers, to make music in the heart. That poem is called The Work of Christmas, written by Howard Thurman. Though you might not recognize his name, Howard Thurman was a renowned American religious leader, accomplished academic, civil rights activist, and respected mentor to a young Martin Luther King Jr. He was known for his profound ability to be integrative across identity lines, even across faiths, speaking on truths of humanity, though he himself was a Baptist minister. He once wrote, I must beat down the boundaries of my exclusiveness until my sense of separateness is completely enveloped in a sense of fellowship. He professed that regardless of our beliefs and identities, we are mutually bound together, and that there is meaningful effort we must give in pursuit of accomplishing good on earth, not only for our own sake, but for the sake of others. In 1973, he published a book of meditations and poetry called The Mood of Christmas and Other Celebrations. He included this poem, The Work of Christmas, in that book, highlighting the immense but necessary good lying beneath the brilliant fanfare, ceremony, and celebrations of Christmas. It's a wonderful reflection on how the excitement and enjoyment of the holiday season regardless of your faith, is inherently built on top of quite significant work that this season accomplishes. You could even interpret it as, this is the work that the season, quote, should accomplish, in addition to its very easily enjoyable aspects, in case we lose sight of its greater messages. The gift giving of this season is always exciting, the holiday movies and music are beautiful and sometimes even sentimental. And the traditions we share with loved ones create memories we keep for decades. But amidst all of this, we cannot forget that the most meaningful things this season can do is all the healing, feeding, rebuilding, and peace bringing that is intertwined into all of the hallmarks of this time of year. This all is incredibly relevant to the solution-focused field. Much like the divine miracles that inspired the holiday season, we too are in the business of miracles. We are lucky enough to get to explore the emergence of miracles with clients all throughout the year, as they describe how their greatest hopes give birth to noticeable change in their lives. The conversations that we have with clients inspire joy and reveal that even in their low moments of strife or depression, they are in fact quite capable of what to them looks like a miracle. The solution focused language is a beautiful language of miracles, but much like Howard Thurman points out in his poem, I feel there is immensely significant work underneath this. I'm not talking about simply how hard we have to try to be good at being therapists. This work is better defined as what is most significant and meaningful in what we are doing as solution-focused practitioners. To truly make the most of our jobs as professionals, we have to do our best to always be aware of what that underlying work really is. It answers the question of what incredible good is intertwined into the hallmarks of the solution-focused approach, much like we think of what good can be accomplished at Christmas time. 
I believe the work for us in these miracles is viewing individuals, every single client, as capable of meaningful change and as possessing relentless strengths and resources, and also the permanent effect that this has on people's lives. We have to be generous with our beliefs in people. As I ask about their best hopes and give them questions about a day after a miracle, I'm speaking to them as someone with good reason to hope for miraculous things. And when someone speaks to you like that, it heals what might have been broken. It feeds some empowered part of you. And it rebuilds something significant and special inside of you. It would be such a shame to let a solution-focused session go by without seeing that the person you're speaking to is someone capable with abundant desires for themselves and meaningful motivators to attain those desires. Just the same, it would also be a shame to let a December go by without ever getting the chance to make time for and enjoy the work that makes the holiday season miraculous.